Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be covering yet another highly demanded topic from my Instagram community, and that is my favorite tools on my iPad Pro. If you're new here, my name is Oral Thatcher, and I'm a front end engineer based off of Orlando, Florida. Now, besides my daily responsibilities, I like to share my passion for tech and coffee on my Instagram account. So if you're someone who enjoys quality tech content, make sure to check it out. Before we dive in, I wanna to talk to you about how I use my iPad Pro in my daily routine to give you some context. See, as a remote front end engineer, my iPad is a major utility tool in my daily workflow. Now, despite all the discussions whether the iPad Pro can replace your laptop or whatnot, because of some of the limitations that comes with the iOS, that simply is not an option for me but that doesn't stop me from taking advantage of this powerful machine. With that being said, I like to categorize my apps into three separate groups, productivity, entertainment, and utility. Now let's start with productivity. The first app I wanna talk about is the oldest app that I had on my iPad actually, and that's Notability. This is my go-to note-taking app for whenever I'm doing any type of online courses or I need a place to jot down my thoughts on anything I've learned. Another good option, if you're not a fan of Notability, is GoodNotes. I've tried GoodNotes before as well, but I wasn't a big fan of it because it asked me to pay full price for every update that it released, so I ended up coming back to Notability. Moving on, the next app I want to talk to you about is Concepts. Now, Concept is a recent app that I came across to in the past couple of months, but it quickly became my go-to wireframing tool. It comes with some nifty features like guides, various sizes of brushes, asset imports that make wireframing so much more convenient. It's a free tool that offers in-app subscription to some additional Pro Tools, but honestly, I've been getting away just fine with the free version of it. And speaking of recent finds, another app that I've been finding myself using a lot is Notion. Notion is an incredibly powerful productivity tool, and honestly, we can dedicate a whole separate video on just how to utilize all its features. Before using Notion, I've been using IA Writer for my blog posts, I've been using Apple Notes for random notes, I've been using Safari bookmarks to bookmark some of the interesting websites that I found, but now I've managed to import all of that into one common place. The only thing I don't like about Notion is a web-based note-taking tool, so if there was any issues with their web servers or anything, you won't be able to access your notes. And that wraps up my major productivity tools. Between these three apps, I store all my notes, my wireframes, or any other type of ideas that I have on my iPad. Now let's move on to entertainment. For entertainment, I like to take advantage of my iPad for streaming movies, videos, and doing some light gaming. Unfortunately, at the time we're shooting this video, there's still no 4K YouTube support on the newest iPad OS, and I'm looking forward for that to roll in so I can take full advantage of this beautiful display. For gaming, I don't have that many games installed on my iPad. I mainly use the PS Remote app so I can play my PlayStation games remotely on this iPad. The performance of this app will vary on your connection both from your PlayStation side and your iPad side, so just be wary of that. And that kind of wraps up my entertainment part. Now let's move on to the utilities. These apps are not necessarily required for my work, but rather they are helper tools that allow me to have a way smoother workflow overall. One of my favorite apps in this category is the Screens VNC app. Paired with the Apple Magic Keyboard, this app is a lifesaver and it allows me to access my home server from wherever I am and do the work that I need to do. Another app that I like to pair up with the Magic Keyboard is the Lightroom CC. Even though I edit most of my pictures on my computer, it's so nice to have an alternative to edit my pictures on the go wherever I am as well. Another use that I have for my iPad is to use it as a remote controller for various apps that I have. I have the Sony remote controller to control my cameras that I have, and also the Rhino Art controller so I can control my slider and have way smoother B-roll for you guys. And rounding up the category, the actual work-related tools that I use are Slack for messaging, Jira for task management, and the Files app so I can control different clouds, including Google Drive, Dropbox, and my home server cloud as well. And that sums up my favorite tools on my iPad. Even though this is not the complete list of apps that I have, these are the ones that definitely stand out the most. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to know when I release my next video. If you had any suggestions or questions about the tools that I use, please make sure to drop a comment. Till then, see you on the next one.